Sugarheart comes with an elegant customer area for your customers to be able to log in and access receipts, downloads, manage their subscriptions, as well as their payment methods. It looks beautiful out of the box. I'm going to show you it in this video, how to customize it some, and also if you wanted to go fully custom, how you can do that as well. This page is automatically added to your site when you install and activate Surecart, and it'll be underneath pages and it will be right here where it says dashboard and you'll know it's the dashboard because you'll see this part right here that says customer dashboard. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now this store has a bunch of information and data in it. Um, so uh, it's populated. So when you first log in here, you're gonna notice that, huh, this does not look like the rest of my website. Now this was done on purpose so that you are guaranteed to have a elegant experience right out of the box. So here on the top left, it's going to automatically use the logo that you have added to your store. So it's going to add the logo right there. And on the left here, there's these navigation options on the bottom. There's an option to go back to the homepage of your website. And this is the avatar of the logged in user and their name. And when they click on this arrow, they can access their account information. That would be their address and their password billing and log out. Now on the right, we have these little bits of information. So here's their plans that they're on, either installment or plans or subscription plans, their order history, uh, their downloads, and you can see this purple being used. This is the brand color that I have set inside of Surecart. So when your customer's here, they can click around. So if I wanted to see just my orders, I could click right here and it will show me the list of my orders. Now this is paginated, so it's showing just this amount and I can click on next to see more of my orders. Here I can see any payment plans that I'm on or subscription plans and I can click into them and manage them so I can click in here. I can change to a different payment plan if I wanted to. This is all the standard features that are built into Surecart. I can also cancel the plan and here I can click on and access all of my downloads. Now let me show you again, if I clicked on accounts, it's going to pull this up and I have an opportunity to change my password as a user and here for billing, I'll see my list of payment methods and my billing details that are associated with it. I can add payment methods as well from here. Now, out of this experience, you can customize some things. You can choose which options appear here on the left, including the logo, if you want those there. Over here, when someone's clicked on the dashboard and you see all these blocks of data here, you can add whatever you want here. You can even remove these because they're also accessible here on the left panel. So you don't have to have these blocks here. If you wanted to put a video here with some custom links, you can do all of that. So let me show you how to do that really quick. I'm going to click right here where it says edit page and it's going to show me those blocks. So this is all of the content you saw in that right hand column. If I wanted to add something, say I wanted to add a heading, I can add a heading block and type something in. So I've added the block and let's go ahead and rearrange it. Let's go ahead and put this to the very top. I've done that. I can click on update. Let's view the page and you can see that now it says that heading there at the top. So I can put whatever I want here and I can even remove these if I don't want them there because the same information is accessible on the left in those dedicated menu items. So if I wanted to say get rid of downloads, I can click on the download block and I can click these three blocks dots right here and I can remove it and now that won't be shown. Now there's also some custom options for the customer dashboard and they're right here. So you can see I'm set to page and it says template options and there's the little share cart logo right there. So what you have options for is to show or hide the, the store logo as well as to set the width and all of those different options that were available, I could toggle them off 
if I want. They're all just listed right here. So if my store does not sell downloads, you saw I already removed the download option. I can toggle off downloads right here, click on update. And now when we go back to the page, not only do I not see downloads here, I also don't see downloads down here because I've gone ahead and deleted it. So what I would recommend is that you go in here and customize this however you like. If you're selling online courses or a membership, you might want to put a video there and maybe a link to where they can access the content or access their list of courses. Or if you're using a course plugin on your site, you can probably use the blocks that they provide. For example, LearnDash. You could add the LearnDash blocks for their customer dashboard right here, and you can have this unified customer dashboard experience. You can pretty much add whatever you want to add. Now, even though I love this customer dashboard experience that Shirtcart provides out of the box, because it's guaranteed to look amazing on every single website, you might want something custom. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So if you noticed when you're on the customer dashboard, you don't have your themes, header and footer and color palette and all of that kind of stuff. So if you want this customer dashboard to kind of look like it fits in your site's style, that is possible. And I'll show you right now. So here I am back on editing the dashboard and we're going to need to basically tweak a, a few settings. So you see over here on the right, there's this option here that says template and you can see it kind of says sure cart customer. When you click on that, it's going to show this template chooser and you can see now it's reveals the full name Shortcut customer dashboard. You'll want to change this to default template. And what this is saying is when someone visits this page to just show it like it's plugged into your normal website. So I'll click on update and now let's take a look at that. So you can see now I have my themes header and I have the page title right here and uh, all of that stuff is back. So let's change this up some. I'll go back into my edit page. And so I'm going to go here and I'm going to add the word customer because it's the customer dashboard I'm gonna get rid of this heading right here. Let's go ahead and remove it. Now I'm going to remove all of these blocks right here. So I'm going to remove all of that. Now, when I click on the plus and scroll down to the sure cart blocks, there is this tabbed customer dashboard block that I'm going to add. And when I add that, it gives me the option of creating new tabs, renaming tabs, deciding what's going to be in these tabs all right here and it's all visual. So I'm going to click right here onto the first tab and it says new tab three. I'm actually going to change that. It should say dashboard, but you can actually make it say whatever you want, home dashboard, whatever. And this also gives you the ability to add custom tabs. So I can literally click right here and you can see I've got this new tab. Let's rearrange it. Let's go ahead and move this up. And I'm going to put this underneath the dashboard and I'll rename this to say courses. There it is. And I can even change the icon. You see how it has that home. I can click on the icon and change that to whatever I want, just like that. So now I have a new tab and I can literally go in here and start putting anything in that I want in there, right? So I can type, here are your courses and it's in a tab just like that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and see what this looks like. So I'm going to click on update. Let's go to view page. And you can see I've got this different experience and it's still all customizable, just like I showed you, but it's in this tabbed system where I can have custom tabs and it's back in my themes, my websites, header and style and all of that. So you can customize this however you want to meet your needs. And also, right where it says dashboard here, you can rearrange these blocks all that you want. You can remove them. So in that same case earlier, if the user, my, my site doesn't sell downloads, I can remove the downloads just like that. 
and you can rearrange and add bits of content if you wanted to add a video, whatever you want. So this is the other option if you want to go completely custom. Now there's one more thing I wanna show you. Say you're changing things, you're tweaking things, and you're like, oh my goodness, I wish I could go back to how it was from the very beginning. That also is very easy. Let me show you how to like restore it back to how it was when you first installed SureCard. So for this, I'm gonna go back to the dashboard. I'm gonna click on pages, I'm gonna find that page and I'm going to click on trash then I'm going to empty the trash I'll click on trash and I'll click on empty trash and now I've emptied the trash and if you go back to your pages you don't have a customer dashboard page so once it's deleted what you want to do is go to plugins and then you want to go to SureCart and you want to deactivate it. Don't worry, nothing's going to get broken. And then click on activate. Now, when you do this, when you deactivate and then reactivate, SureCart looks at your site and says, does it have all the pages? Does it have the store checkout? Does it have the customer dashboard? And if it doesn't, it will recreate it. And so you can see right here, it recreated the dashboard right here, and it has all the original settings that I showed from the beginning of the video. It's all back to how it was. And here, let me just show you. You can see right here, I've got my logo back and I've got the menu. It's just how it was at the beginning of the video. I can't wait to see what you do with your user dashboard. There's so much flexibility there. You can pretty much have it be exactly how you want it. Use videos, use your design, however you want it to be.